Hi everybody, welcome to JNS Farms. And uh, today I uh, have gotten my carrots picked, got the tops removed, and the carrots are in the bucket ready to be washed. Um, I would have liked to have left them in the ground a little bit longer, but um, as you've seen in a previous video, um, the rabbit had other plans. Hello, Ziva. Um, it was a wild rabbit. I had a couple of people ask me if it was a wild one or if it was one of the rabbit tractor rabbits that escaped. Um, currently we only have one rabbit tractor rabbit that is out on the yard and um, it stays more to the west of the house. I've never seen it over here near the garden. Um, I can't catch the darn thing. <laughs> but uh, I did see the wild rabbit coming in and out of this garden and um, yeah, uh, Brian has since taken care of the rabbit problem, and uh, I have the beds all nice and cleaned out now, and I am going to go ahead and replant some carrots for this fall and get that done. Um, this bed, even though this was, you know, store-bought soil, there were a lot of weeds in it. Um, I don't know why, but there was, so... Anyway, I'm going to replant those and uh, try to get that going some more. Uh, my jalapeno, I just harvested these guys. Um, so I've got a lot more coming on and I'll get them harvested in the next couple days. But anyway, uh, the tops I'm going to take to the rabbits in the rabbit tractor. And there's also a few of the little carrots that were, you know, tiny enough. I didn't really want to mess with them. Um, mess with having to peel them and by the time I got them peeled and cut up there's just really not much there so anyway three quarters of a bucket out of these uh, two little beds here and uh, I will be back with you once I get them all washed and uh, cut up and I'll show you the next step and I'm going to be dehydrating these guys so I'll be back with you here in a little while Alright guys, so I've got them all peeled and the tops removed and the bottoms removed um, and I've cut them into sections that will fit on my Vidalia Chop Wizard. Uh, these things are invaluable if you're dehydrating a lot of things. Um, I like to run it through with the um, thick uh, slices. Um, I'll just take a section, set it on, and this goes a lot quicker with, <laughs> with two hands. But anyway, so that will let's see if I can get that off there with one hand here. And this makes them perfect size. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. There you go. Um, this is the size I like it for soups and things, which is what I use my dehydrated carrots for. So anyway, there you go. Uh, that is what I do with them after I. This is what they look like after I get them uh, peeled and ready to go, washed. And then I'll run them through here. And next step is blanching. So I will be right back with you when we do that. Okay, guys. So um, I'm doing my carrots here. And I am to the blanching process. And I have already put them in. Um, what I do is I let my water get to a full rolling boil. And then I will pour that in. And I usually let them blanch for about three to four minutes or so. Um, you don't want to cook them, but you want to go ahead and get them good and blanched. Um, so about three to four minutes or so. Um, you don't want them soft, but you want them, um, you still want them firm, but you don't want them crunchy. It's kind of hard to explain. But um, anyway, so usually about three to four minutes. Um, and then what I do is I have a strainer over my sink that is suspended over my sink and I will pour this into that strainer and after I get it all poured in there I will immediately um, take some cold water. Um, I have a sprayer uh, hose on my sink and I will immediately spray it with cold water or if you have um, cold water that you can just pour them into, uh, you want to stop the blanching process and uh, with some cold water. And then once they're good and uh, you don't want to get them cold, cold, but you just want to stop the blanching process. 
So uh, after that, I will pour it on my dehydrator trays. So I will be back with you whenever I am ready to do that. Okay guys, so we've got them all chopped and blanched and uh, rinsed under some cold water. And now I'm gonna just uh, put them on the dehydrator trays here. Try not to make a giant mess doing that. Because I am doing this one-handed. And uh, I may have put too many on this, but um, anyway, you just kind of spread them out into a nice layer. I have to transfer some over to another one here. Just a few. Okay, there we go. And uh, I will put these in the dehydrator. I usually put it on about 120, 125 degrees or so. Um, carrots, I usually, uh, if I remember correctly, it's been a year since I have done these, but it's usually uh, about 12 hours or so, if I remember correctly. Okay, so they're nice and even here on the tray. And uh, yeah, I'll just put them in there. And uh, 12 hours from now, they should be ready to go. Um, this is a batch that I did last year. So can you guys see those? Maybe. Yeah, there you go. Um, this is all I have left is one quart from last year. So anyway, there you go. That's what it's going to look like when they're all done and dehydrated. Uh, you want to make it to where they're nice and crunchy. Good and hard. So anyway, there you guys go. Um, that's how I do my carrots. How I dehydrate them. You guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.